Yeah, busy to say the least. Uh, right now, if you are heading out the door or planning to head out the door, pack your patience because we've got dozens of crashes across North Texas. I want to take you first to that update on I-30. If you're just joining us, I-30 east and westbound was shut down for around three hours this morning, all related to this 18-wheeler that jackknifed right in front of the young Chevrolet that's over in East Dallas County, and it actually hit a power pole. When that power pole line fell down, it knocked live wires across the interstate. The main lanes of 30 in both directions and so that's why they had to shut the freeway down but the latest update for you is the fact that I-30 westbound is now back open the eastbound lanes though remain completely closed so if you are traveling eastbound on I-30 this morning you will still see a complete closure in place all related to this major crash taking a look at my maps I want to show you where this is happening this is again 30 eastbound right near Buckner Boulevard and it is completely closed the westbound lanes are back open so if you are driving from Mesquite into downtown Dallas. No need for an alternate route for you, but if you are traveling west, east, westbound, you will certainly want an alternate route. Take a look at this. This is Military Parkway and Highway 352. Those are your best alternates if you're still trying to get eastbound this morning and avoid that closure. I want to show you, though, this is not the only incident that we're tracking. We've got dozens of crashes across North Texas. A couple of the big ones I want to highlight, Loop 12 northbound. Certainly avoid it from I-30 towards 183, all because we've got a major crash near Shady Grove, only allowing one lane to get by. If you're traveling through Duncanville, there, too, a major crash on I-20. That's in the westbound direction, close to the 67 interchange. And then a major disruption to your commute right through the medical district. 35E at Inwood still seeing some localized flooding right on the main lanes. Look at the left two main lanes heading away from that tech stock camera and look at the curtain of water that vehicles will throw up as they pass through that localized flooding area. So if you are traveling this morning, just be aware that scenes like this are something you are certainly likely to encounter because of the amount of rain that we saw in such a short amount of time. Guys, we've been talking about the drought and how much of the area needed rain. Well, because the ground was so dry, it can't soak up the amount of rainfall that we saw in such a short amount of time. And so we're left with areas like this where there is significant localized flooding that is impacting the main impacting the main lanes of certain interstates. Yeah, Madison, and a good reminder to get out early today instead of going faster. Take it easy on that drive. Thank you so much.